Millions watched on TV, but Cynthia Goshen was part of the lucky audience that filled the Los Angeles Staples Center. As the 17-year-old reflects on her trip, she says she'll never forget her Grammy experience. I wanted something you can't buy, like just a, like an experience that like is kind of like impossible. And I thought, what's like a really good like wish? The Children's Wish Foundation made it come true three years after Cynthia was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. This one was pretty unique. You know, it was one of those wishes that took a while to kind of get to come to fruition. And then when it, the ball started rolling, it really gained some good momentum. After beating cancer, Cynthia was granted the trip to L.A. The Walk of Fame, the Hollywood sign, Rodeo Drive. But walking Rodeo Drive and the Walk of Fame didn't compare with walking the red carpet. And while viewers caught all the acts on television, there were some moments you just had to be there for. They're like changing the sets like during intermissions, but it was also really exciting to see like the stars interact with each other because they were just like right like beneath us. So you could like watch them like giving each other hugs, they like seeing who they're talking to. So it was really cool. Cynthia says she even started to feel like a celebrity, meeting LL Cool J while watching rehearsals with some backstage passes. Even spotting Taylor Swift and Selena Gomez right before the pair took the red carpet, capturing the moment on video. Taylor! Taylor! Selena! Hi. Taylor! Oh my god! After walking the red carpet and mingling with celebrities, Cynthia is now back at school where students and faculty are excited to hear about her trip of a lifetime. It was actually in this room at Sacred Heart School in Halifax where Cynthia learned she'd be making the big trip to L.A. No longer around all the glitz and glamour, Cynthia is back to studying hard and raising money for cancer research, hoping maybe one day to once again walk the red carpet. Matt Woodman, CTV News, Halifax.